بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دس سیشن ویل ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا ریٹ آف چینج آف سم ویریبلس سو دس ٹاپک از ٹیکن فار فرام ایڈیشنل میتھمیٹک کورس فار آئی جی سی ایس سی اینڈ او لیول سو دس از ڈی وائی بائی ڈی ٹی اینڈ دس ڈی وائی بائی ڈی ایس it can be written down as a dy by dx and dx by dt by the chain rule it can be used to find the rate of change of the variable y uh, the rate of change of variable y can be found out by dy by dx and then by dx by dt so this rate of change if uh, we know the rate of change of this one we can find the rate of change then by using this differential if we know the uh, uh, characteristic of the curve with this expression so similarly the reverse can also be taken by this one Um, this is really so, uh, let's start uh, exercise 12.7 uh, in uh, 12.7 we have a variable x and y are connected by the equation uh, y is equal to x square minus 5x given that x increases at a rate of 0.05 unit square per second the given that x increases at a rate of so dx by Uh, dt is given which is uh, 0.05 unit per second and we have to find the rate of change of y uh, when rate of change of y so we need to find the dy by dt when x is equal to 4 so let's start uh, problem number uh, one so this is exercise 12.7 uh, y is equal to uh, the curve is given as y is equal to x square minus 5x and uh, rate of change of uh, x is uh, 0.05 unit per second and we have to find dy by dt and dy by dx is uh, 2x minus 5 so from this uh, this is 2x and this is 5, minus 5 so at uh, 4 at x is equal to 4 this dy by dt is equal to 3 so now we dy by dt is equal to dy by dx and dx by dt this dy x by dt is given is 0.05 units per second so this is here and dy by dx is 3 so right here in this way we have find the rate of change of y is 0.15 units per second let's uh, move to problem number 4 uh, variable x and y are connected by the equation this so let's move to problem number 4 this is problem number 4 uh, y is equal to 5 upon 2x minus 1 and for this problem we have given this dy by dt is equal to 0.1 units per second and we have to find the rate of change of x for this problem this dy by dt is given as 0.1 units per second and we have to find dx by dt and uh, dy by dx is given as this so y is given so the dy by dx can be calculated as this so this is uh, dy by dx and uh, this uh, dy by dx at x is equal to minus 2 is given as 0.4 and x is equal to minus 2 dy by dx is obtained as minus 0.4 so this dy by dx is equal to minus 0.4 so dy by dt is equal to dy by dx dot dx by dt so this dx by dt is given by dy by dt divided by dy by dx so this is given as 0.1 units per second and this is 0.4 so the value is obtained dx by dt is equal to 0.25 units per second so this was the required value so let's move to 20 Yes, uh, 
Let's move to problem number 9. A cube has a side of length x centimeter and volume is v centimeter cube. The volume is increasing at a rate of 2 centimeter cube per second. Find the rate of increase of x when volume is equal to 215. So we have a given a cube has a side of length x and the volume. So cube has uh, all sides same. So x, x, x. The volume v is equal to x cube. The volume is increasing at a rate of uh, 2 cm cube per second. So the dv by dt is given as 2 cm cube per second. Find the rate of increase of x. So we have to find the dx by dt when volume is equal to 5. So we have learned that what we need to do. This is problem number 9. So this problem number 9, we have v is equal to x cube. So this is x, x and x. So dv by dt is equal to 2 centimeter cube per second is given. And we have to find dx by dt while the volume is 512. So this volume is 512 is equal to x cube. So x is equal to 512 uh, power 3. We have take the cube root on both sides. So this becomes 8 is equal to 8 centimeter at x uh, is equal to 8 dv by dx which is obtained as this is 3 x square so this is 3 x square so in place of x we place 8 value so this dv by dx is equal to 192 centimeter square so this is uh, because this is x and this is v this is cube this is x centimeter this is centimeter cube so the value is centimeter square so let's find the dx by dt so dv by dt is equal to dx by d v, uh, x and dx by dt this is a chain rule so this uh, dv by dt is given and we have to find the dx by dt so this dx by dt dv by dt divided by dv by dx so we have this value so 2 centimeter cube is given and we have calculated the dv by dx is equal to this we we'll place it here and then we find the value of dx by dt is equal to so this is the required uh, let's move to problem this to problem 12 uh, a cone has a base radius r centimeter and a fixed height 18 centimeters. The radius of the base is increasing at a rate of 0.1 centimeter per second. The rate of radius is increasing. So dr by dt is increasing at a rate of 0.1 centimeter square. Find the rate of change of the volume when r is equal to 10. Okay. So the base radius is given and the fixed height is given. And the radius is increasing. Oh, the, race, uh, the radius of the base is increasing when the rate of change of the volume when r is equal to 10. So we have to find this value. So, problem number 12. Let's move to problem number 12. So this is the base of the cone. The height is given as 18. This is 18. R. So we have this uh, volume of the cone is 1 over 3 pi r square h. So v is equal to pi upon 3 r and this height is 18. So this 3 divided 18 gets 8. 6 pi r square dr by dt is given as 0 0.1 centimeters per second. So dv by dt has to obtain when r is equal to 10. So dv by dr so this dv by dr uh, can be calculated as this is 2r so this is 12 pi r at r is equal to 10 this dv by dr is equal to 125 so dv by dr can be placed here at this place dv by dt is this and dr by dt so 
let's put this value here dr by dt dv by dr and we get this value dv by dt is equal to 12 pi centimeter cube per second the rate of change of volume will be this if the base area increases the base radius increases with this point uh, let's uh, go to problem Let's solve uh, problem number 14. A water is poured into the hemisphere ball. This is a hemisphere ball at a rate of 4 pi centimeter cube per second. Water is poured into the into the hemispherical ball. This is a container at a rate of this 4 pi centimeter cube per second. After time t seconds, after time t seconds, the volume of the water in the ball, the v centimeter cube, is given by this. After some time t second, after t seconds, the volume of the water in the ball is v centimeter cube is given by this. By this relation, the height and the volume relation is given as where h is the height of the water in the ball. Find the rate of change of h when h is equal to 4. Find the rate of change of h when h is Two. Find the rate of change of h when h is equal to 4. So we have to find this. So v is given by this relation. Rate of change of this is the way that the rate is adding the rate of change of volume. So this is dv by dt is given 4 pi centimeter cube per second. This is the rate of change of volume. So dv by dt is given. So let's move to problem number 14. So hemisphere ball. So this is hemisphere as well. Here this dv by dt is given as 4 pi centimeter cube per second. After time t seconds, the volume has uh, given by this relation with respect to the height. So this v is equal to 8 pi h square minus 1.3 pi h cube where h is the height of the water in the ball. h is the height of the water in the ball. So dh by dt we have to find the value of dh by dt when h is equal to 2. So this uh, dv by dh is equal to given as uh, 8 pi and this is 2h and 1 over 3 pi and this is 3 h square. So this 3, 3 cancel out and this is pi h square. And this is uh, 16 pi h. So dv by dh is given as this. So at h is equal to 2, uh, this is 2 here, 2 here. And this is 32 pi, this is 4 pi, 28 pi. So this is dh, uh, dv by dh is 28 pi. So this is 28 pi. This dh by dt has to obtain when the dv by dt is given as 4 pi centimeter. So, we will write here uh, 4 pi centimeter cube per second. This is 28 pi centimeter square. So, divide it. And the units is very, very important here. So, divide this. We have dh by dt is 1 over 7 centimeters per second. So this is 1 over 7 centimeters per second. This is the answer for part when the h is equal to 2. For h is equal to 4. Four. This is the second part. dv by dh is given this. So dv by dh is equal to this. So in place of h, we will write four. Four square. So this is 64 pi. This is 16 pi. 48 pi. We will write here four pi. And this is 48 pi. And we have given this. So rate of change of height is very low because the, as the, as the, we are increasing uh, at a higher height, the ball. Uh, height will increase very slowly. We can see this in the picture. Uh, 
if we increase the volume in a bottom side uh, if we add a small volume of water the height will increase very rapidly after a certain height if we increase more volume the height will increase very slowly this is all appearing in this one. so this is 1 by 7 at level of h is equal to 2 but at level of h is equal to 4 the rate of change is very low as compared to that so this is the point this is the concept that one has to learn from this and as uh, shown in the diagram so this is a practical problem so in the next session uh, we will discuss 12.8 or exercise 12.8